Welcome to Books Before Bed, your spot for a nighttime story. Larry Scuderi, the Forgetful Tooth Fairy. This is a recording for Books Before Bed. Above the clouds, but below the stars. If you reach the moon, you've gone too far. There's a magical world that sparkles with white. From canines and molars that shine clean and bright. It's Tooth Fairy Kingdom, built all out of teeth. They buy them, of course. No one here is a thief. When a little kid's tooth comes loose with a wiggle, one Tooth Fairy's list gets a magical new squiggle. The name and address tells them just where to be to buy a fresh tooth for a nominal fee. The exact amount varies. It's based on inflation and cola and other accounting equations. They scoop up teeth then fly back to their home to build bridges, tall towers, a new concert dome. But one fairy's projects are never quite done. His list grows and grows after each nightly run. On the outskirts of town, in a house bright and airy, lives a forgetful tooth fairy named Larry Scuderi. Larry loves to collect each tooth that's extracted, but Larry Scuderi is quickly distracted. Every night he sets out, armed with his list. Sure, he'll get to each home, but there's always a twist. One night, shooting stars caught his gaze for three hours. Another he spent counting petals on flowers. Once he met a lost owl, who he helped find her nest. She insisted he stay for a meal as her guest. On his way to a house where the sea meets the land, he whiled away hours, making castles of sand. Next night he lost focus while flying to Earth, and landed in Paris instead of in Perth. Each time he's off track in his comings and goings, more kids lose their teeth and his list keeps on growing. So if your tooth is still there when you wake for the day, know that Larry Scuderi is still on his way. And one night, very soon, he'll come pick up your tooth. So that maybe, one day, he can finish his roof. The end. Thank you for listening.